Elijah Mitchell. You know, he got injured in this game. He was down on the ground for a while. Looked like he, I'm not sure if he was in, unconscious, but he clearly got hit in the head. He got that elbow to the head. It looked almost like a dirty play, if not a dirty play. Got checked out by an independent NFL appointed doctor. Came back to the game, finished the game, went home, had concussion symptoms, reported him to the team. Now he's day to day. He's in the concussion protocol. So, first of all, that's two games in a row that the Niners have had a player uh, get a concussion, go to the tent, get cleared, come back, and then get diagnosed with a concussion the next day. Can they do better? Are they trying to, not the Niners, but can't the league do better here? Can't they err on the side of caution? Isn't this something they're trying to fix, address? Anyway, so there's that. But the other thing is Elijah Mitchell. He may not play next week. That's the one thing. And the thing about Elijah Mitchell is he's not the greatest. He's not Raheem Mostert. Mostert, Mostert is much more explosive. Mitchell, what he gives the, the offense is volume. He can run the ball a lot in a game, which is important because the Niners – winning formula is to keep Jimmy Garoppolo to throwing fewer than 30 passes. So you need a lot of carries and Mitchell gives that to you. Uh, that's very important because as, as important as, as good as Debo Samuel is, he, you can't really ask him to run the ball more than eight, nine times a game because he gets hurt. He's not going to run the ball 27 times Debo Elijah Mitchell will. So again, if he doesn't play, the Niners are going to go have, going to have to go back to winning while throwing a lot, which is something they don't really do very well. I'm going to talk about that later. So I'm not saying he won't play this week, but we have no idea if Elijah Mitchell will play this week. Also, um, Jeff Wilson Jr. aggravated his knee, the knee injury that's kept him out the first half of the year. That seemed like it's been inhibiting him the last few weeks. He's day to day. So Mitchell might not play. Sermon's on IR. Wilson's banged up. The only really, really healthy running back is Jermichael Hasty, who barely ever plays. So now the Niners once again are in a position where they have a quarterback who wins when his running backs do well and all of his running backs are hurt. What are they going to do? Is this team going to make the playoffs? I don't know. That's a bigger, that's a question for another day. But if Elijah Mitchell doesn't play next week, I'm not sure they'll beat the Bengals. They'll have to beat the Bengals with Jimmy throwing a lot. Big picture here, Elijah Mitchell looks like he should be the starting running back for a long time for the 49ers, but this is his fourth injury this season. I'm losing track of what he had a collarbone, he had ribs, he had the shoulder, it was the collarbone, and then he had a finger and now a concussion. He does run the ball a lot, but he's not that big and he's very violent, but it seems like his body takes a toll. Hit. Maybe a bigger toll than the defender, the defenders he's, you know, hitting. Can I talk today? I don't know. So it seems like he, he you're going to need to get more running backs. Running back is still a position to need. The Niners should probably draft a running back every year, not in round three, but in round six or round seven. Good spot to draft a running back. They need more guys like Elijah Mitchell. They Ideally, they would have three Elijah Mitchells. So they could rotate him, keep him fresh. No reason to keep giving Elijah Mitchell 20 carries because he can't handle it, even though he gets through the game. He just isn't available next week. So that's not good news either.